Hello, I am Garrett Godfrey, and welcome to the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast, where I am working to connect artists with fans and fans with artists so that you can find and fund the music you love. This is episode 53, recorded Friday, June 3rd, 2016. Think of me as both your tour guide and filter as we look at some current campaigns by The Arcs, King's Kaleidoscope, Derry Doherty, and John Smebby. I hope you enjoy the show and find something you can connect with and find. Before we get into the campaigns, I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you spending some of your time with me. To make things easier to find, I put links to everything we cover in the show notes. And in case you want to go back to a specific campaign and listen again, I've got the timestamps for all those individual campaigns in the show notes as well. Hope that helps. So on to the campaigns. First up are the ARCs out of Colorado Springs with a Kickstarter campaign to put out an EP of worship music. Let's hear a little bit of that music from their campaign page. Can you feel the rising And that's just a, uh, it looks like they're just, you know, in a bathroom or something with, uh, you know, sitting on the floor playing the guitar. So the quality is obviously going to be better for their their actual recording. I think it sounds fantastic. So their goal for this campaign is $3,000. They're 20% there with still a couple weeks to go. This campaign closes June 18th. $10 gets you a copy of that EP. And then you can always add more if you want to for that when you back it. So be sure to check it out. Next up are King's Kaleidoscope out of Seattle with a pre-order for their new album to be titled Beyond Control. Now the album releases June 24th and they've described it as, so I'm going to read all of this off their uh, Facebook post about it. They described it as a very special concept driven record highlighting the emotional spectrum of life on this side of heaven in a global modern age. The songs move between themes of joy, hope, wonder, enchantment, isolation, anxiety, fear, terror, and doubt, and the gospel's redemption throughout it all. Let's hear a bit of one of the songs from it, titled Enchanted. Break me free to live enchanted, enchanted. So that's the song Enchanted. And I want to give a shout out over to Sam at Real Gospel that featured a great 12 minute interview with the ringleader of the band. Um, it's available um, on the, the show notes. I'll have a link to it. 
but uh, Sam does the Fresh Across Australia, and he's got a great interview, and I think he actually might have debuted Enchanted uh, earlier this week uh, on that show, so way to go. Uh, now, this album is available with a pre-order as a double LP version in black, vinyl, or in colors, as well as a CD, and then the download version. Now, the LP will have the quote-unquote original version, which will contain one song with explicit language, and then the CD will be the clean version, and apparently digital outlets will have both. They've indicated on Twitter that they'll explain more about all of that next week. The CD is $10, the double LP in black is 25 and in color, it's 40 So be sure to check it out. Next up is Derry Doherty, the vocalist and guitarist of the choir out of Nashville, Tennessee, with a Kickstarter campaign for his first full-length solo album. Now, he'd had a uh, an EP of guitar music, uh, I don't know, four or five years ago. It was just beautiful. Um, here's more from Derry himself talking about this full-length solo album. This is Derry Doherty. And this is my Kickstarter. I'm going to be dipping my feet into the water and make a solo record. This will be the first full-length solo record of my career. You probably know me best as the voice and lead guitar player for the choir. Many of you have been on that journey with me for over 30 years, and I'm eternally grateful for all the love and support that you've shown. While the choir shows no signs of ending anytime soon, my hope is that you'll join me on this solo journey as well. I want to make a record that's all about vibe and mood. That paints a picture and that tells a story. Ethereal music built around songs that sound as good on an acoustic guitar as they do with a full band. Who knows, I might even come out and play some solo shows. This will be a band record, and over the next month, I'll be revealing who the players will be. Some will certainly be familiar, and some probably won't. I'm excited to share all of this with you, my friends and longtime fans. And my hope is that you'll back my campaign and help me take this record from dream to reality. Thanks again for all the love and support, and grace, peace, and mercy to you all. Now his campaign goal is $20,000, and he's almost halfway there at a bit over 9000 with 26 days still to go. This campaign closes June 30th. $10 gets you the download, 15 gets you the CD and download, and for 25 you get black vinyl, and then there are more options including t-shirts, colored vinyl, combo packs, and more. So do yourself a favor and be sure to check that out. Next up is John Smevy with a Kickstarter campaign for a mixed media project to be titled Fusion Art. Now, normally I'm covering actual music on, on this podcast. This isn't actually music. It's an art book blending lyrics from songs popular in the 80s and 90s with nature and abstract photography. And I remembered his name because he was behind Reality Rock back in the 80s and 90s. And this book will have lyrics from artists including Undercover, Alter Boys, Mad at the World, Steve Taylor, The 77, uh, 77's Mike Pritzel from The Violet Burning, Charlie Peacock, Gene Eugene, and more. So here's more about the project from John himself. The music is great, obviously, but what if, what if we put a book together that had a lot of the lyrics from those songs? And of course, you know, now that I'm a photographer, I, I would combine the, the lyrics with my photography and I put that idea on Facebook and here we are. Um, we went through several different titles. Uh, we started with Merge. I started with Merge and then a friend of mine on Facebook said, don't use Merge. Uh, it, it makes me think of being on the freeway and changing lanes and getting hit by a semi and ending up in the hospital. So I was like, okay, yeah, I don't want that to happen. So Fusion is what what I came up with next, and it sort of, it means the same thing. You're 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 fusing two different, well, we're fusing a lot of things together in this book. We're fusing time periods from the 80s with now. We're fusing 
words and images in the book, refusing a lot of different people, like, you know, people from the reality rock days with people that have never even heard of, you know, a lot of these bands. So um, we're, we're pretty much set with fusion art for the title. Um, what really started this whole idea was, was the thought of these lyrics. And, and when I was going through a lot of the songs, I was reminded how powerful those words were and still are in those songs. Um, so, so throughout the book, you're going to have a lyric on the left-hand side of the page, and then on the right-hand side, there's going to be an image. And what I've tried to do is, is make it make sense that this lyric has to do with this image. And the other thing I would say that has been, you know, hard is, is choosing which lyrics. I mean, there, there are so many bands with so many CDs, with so many songs, and, you know, this book is not going to be a thousand pages. So it's really been um, a challenge to just, you know, narrow it down. It's like, okay, I, I like this song, I like that song, I like these lines, but um, at some point you had to pick and choose. And hopefully, um, I, I really want the artists to, not, not just the artists, I'd like everybody to be pleased with this book, but it really is a book of, of their art. So it, it's an art book. It's an art book of photography and it's art, an art book of lyrics. And that's, that's been difficult to just sort of like, you know, narrow, narrow it down and, and choose which ones to use in the book. And this book is going to be for two different sets of people. It's going to be for people that were around during that time, that listened to the radio program, that went to the concerts here at the Redlands Bowl, um, that <clears throat> received the, the, the publication, The Rock, and that, that know those bands. They know the CDs. They've, they've heard the songs. I believe, though, that those lyrics can also speak today to people that have never heard of the Altar Boys, have never heard of Mad at the World, that had no idea about reality rock ever even existing, and when they see those lyrics and read them along with the pictures, that um, I think that they can really speak to people that wouldn't maybe normally listen to that, that style of music. So his campaign goal for this campaign is $4,000. He's about halfway there with 27 days to go. This campaign closes July 1st for $30. You get a signed hardcover copy of the book. And there are additional rewards, including shirts, a signed 8x10 framed matted um, print from the book, and an admission to a private book release party. So be sure to check it out. Now, I don't know if, uh, if all of you had been back with the show um, back in some of the earlier days, but I have a few updates for you. Um, maybe you remember back in episode 34 when I covered the 77s and the remastering of the first three albums, and by the way, Sticks and Stones coming out on vinyl, I just got them recently, and it is great stuff. I also just got the Fever Fever downloads from episode 36, the Rivers and Robots CD of the new Eternal Sun album from episode 38, the Doxa Theo downloads from back in episode 16, and then just today got the link to download the Matt Searle's Tumbling Sky project from back in episode 31. I cannot wait to dig deeper into all of those this weekend. And just a heads up, I'll cover them more in detail soon, but Switchfoot and Skillet both have new albums coming out soon with pre-orders available. In fact, the Rock in a Hard Place podcast did a short feature about the new Skillet release and included some clips in this week's episode that just came out a couple days ago, so be sure to check that out. I'll have the links for that in the show notes as well. And that's it for the episodes for, uh, or for the campaigns for this episode. I'd like to ask you to do something, though. If this is your first time watching or listening, please subscribe. You can do that at iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever. In fact, I made it really easy for you. If you head over to the website, crowdfundingchristianmusic.com, and click on the subscribe button at the top, it'll give you information on where to subscribe for video or for audio. And if you've been with this podcast for a while, thank you. For you, I have the Dare to Share. The show notes and the websites both have links to the podcast page on Facebook and Google+, as well as Twitter. Grab a post for this episode, episode 53, and share it or retweet it. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be on your wall. Uh, it could be a private message with just one other person you think might connect with what we're doing. 
And if you back any of the campaigns, or if you just want to help them spread the word, be sure to tweet about it and post it on Facebook, Google+, mention it to your friends in real life, and spread the word about these campaigns. If you want to send me feedback, head over to the Facebook page for the podcast, like it, and message me. Follow at the other CCM on Twitter, shoot me a tweet, head over to Google+, and, and give me a message. Email me, feedback at crowdfundingchristianmusic.com. And if you liked the theme song at the beginning of the show, it's Hypostatic Union by The X Structure out of South Africa. All of their music right now is Name Your Price over at Bandcamp, so be sure to check it out. Keep coming back. There will be lots more campaigns to cover. I'm Garrett Godfrey, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.